If you're trying to catch fish in Virginia's salt waters and you haven't registered with the state, well, you might be on the hook. The National Marine Fishery says many people ignore or don't know about a six-month-old law that requires you to sign up with the special identification program. Ten of your sides, Art Com found out the move is on to start enforcing it. And Art, it doesn't cost anything to register, but failure to do so could get expensive, huh? You're right on both counts, Nicole. In fact, the Virginia Marine Sources Commission has spent tens of thousands of dollars to let people know about the state law requiring saltwater anglers 16 years and older to register their names with the Fisherman Identification Program. The Virginia Marine Police invited us to ride along with them today in a final effort to make sure the word gets out before they start writing tickets. Patrolling the James River Tuesday morning, it doesn't take more than a few minutes for officers to locate a boat with anglers that are not yet registered in the Fisherman Identification Program, or FIP. Okay, you guys have your FIPS card? The owner of this boat has a fishing license to cover anyone aboard, but it isn't enough. Unlicensed anglers must now be registered with FIP. You know about that? No, I didn't know about that. Okay. He's not alone. We encountered a number of people who were unaware of the mandatory registration program. It's a state program designed to assist the federal government. The federal government uh, helps us set our regulations on migratory species, on, on fish that, that move throughout the, throughout the East Coast. Fishing regulations are determined by the number and species of fish that are caught each year. The commercial fishing industry have always been highly regulated. We get reports from every fish that they catch, everything that they land. Uh, the recreational fishermen, we really have no idea uh, what they do. The Fisherman Identification Program is designed to provide regulators with important data that was almost impossible to get in the past. It accounts for folks that don't have fishing license. All the people that we don't already have uh, to make a phone registry or a survey registry for um, people to be surveyed to better set the limits. Have any luck? Actually, they are lucky. Small the Fisherman way. Identification Program okay. requires okay. anyone fishing from a pier, okay. dock, or even the That's beach to register. They haven't, the and they're getting off with a warning. You can register over the phone by calling the toll-free number, which you should be seeing on your screen right about now, that number 800-723-2728, or you can register online with the VMRC, and we made that easy for you by providing a link on wavy.com. It's free, much cheaper than paying a fine or court costs. Art Con, 10 on your side.